Color horror films existed before Hammer Films made The Curse of Frankenstein in 1957. But it took the British studio to dial up the saturation so that ruby red lips and crimson blood jump boldly off the screen. If you grew up in the 60s and 70s, then Hammer Films might have given you your first cinematic scare. Come with us if you dare into a twilight world of unspeakable horror. So begins a typical trailer for a Hammer film. There would also usually be blood-soaked title graphics at some point to sensationally play up the horror. For almost two decades, starting in the late 1950s, you could count on Hammer for breathtakingly lurid gothic horror tales that served up vampires, werewolves, monsters, and luscious ladies. It turned Christopher Lee into an icon and gave a generation of kids their first taste of terror in bold technicolor reds that practically dripped off the screen. The Curse of Frankenstein starred Peter Cushing as Victor Frankenstein and the towering Lee as the Doctor's creation. That film would launch the Hammer brand, a brand that would hold strong up into the 1970s. It was followed in quick succession by Horror of Dracula, with Lee as the blood-sucking count, and The Mummy, in which Lee again played a monster. All these films and more will play as part of the Get Hammered film series, which will highlight classic Hammer titles every month on select Sundays at 1 p.m. at the Digital Gym Cinema. The series kicks off this Sunday with Christopher Lee in Horror of Dracula. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.